I'm going to do some work on the bike. It needs a little bit of action, remedial uh, action taken. As you can see, I've wiped most of it off, but it's uh, black oily deposits from this. There's pipe here, which goes right into the left cylinder. Well, the valve guide seals must have gone. Uh, and there's a chance when I open this up, there's going to be some evidence of oil coming past the scraper ring. So perhaps a rebore and new pistons, new piston rings. Let's see what happens. Okay, stage one. Hold tight. Well, first I'm going to remove the carbs. I need to take this cable from its housing there. I release a couple of screws. You can see one in there, one on the other side. And now of course I've got to remove the fuel pipe, the fuel feed. And there we go. There are the carbs off. I'll let the last of the fuel evaporate from there. And I'll put the carbs, this bank of carbs in there, out of the way. Next. Let's get rid of the uh, support up here, the engine mount, we'll remove the spark plug leads, the tension leads, and yeah, remove the exhaust. Yeah, don't you just love it when you've got to keep turning little by little these, uh, these nuts. It's all fun, takes a while. We'll just be patient. Okay, the exhausts have come off. And there they are. I put all the nuts and bolts, bagged them up, tied them there. They're not going anywhere. I'll be able to put them on in the same order they came off. Next, well, it started to rain. I'm going to have to wheel. Wheel the bike into the smallest workshop in the world and hope I don't bang my head. Well, here are the carbs bagged up. There's the exhaust off. You can see I'm a bit cluttered in here. There's my uh, other engine. There's a donor, a 447 behind it. And uh, the Spider Boba project. So I'll just use this. I just, you know, I've come across a 1944. This is army surplus and there's an ammo box next to it. I don't know what was in here. Interesting. An old fella died and uh, gave me this thing. He's got a handle here. It's got one diagonally opposite here. Oh. Yeah, I'm just keeping uh, stuff in. It's neat design. Push back. Stays open. What was this? Ammunition? <laughs> Something like that. Anyway. Perfect place for the for the carbs and delicate stuff like <coughs> gaskets. And that, that, yeah, that pulls up, closes. It's also a good place for beer. I'll get some in there. Looks like it's going to be a long job. Yeah, and of course, what's in the background? Yeah, there's our friends from excess650.com few videos. You know who that is? Yep, sure. I'm just going to follow. I'm pretty sure I know what to do, but be sure. And it's all belt and braces, so I shall uh, just follow the disassembly pattern. Let's take it from there.